it's a painting. Mm. But I think because this is a collective idea, it's not my idea, it's, it's our ideas. The trauma is still so raw for so many of us. I think this is why I decided, yeah, okay, I can finally paint the moment of the explosion. If it can help just a little bit, if I can contribute something positive to Lebanon, this place that I love so much. As a painter, you know, the light, uh, the weather, the light is so beautiful here. Everyone in Lebanon has experienced um, a trauma in their lives. They've experienced a loss or a sudden separation or a dislocation. I think when I came to Lebanon, I, I, I felt that in some ways people understood me and I understood them more than in my own country. I feel a deep emotional connection with Lebanon, which has got nothing to do really with nationality. Ten, when my mum died. It's a long story, but it, it's, it's kind of, it's mirrored by the political situation in Lebanon. So yeah, the painting is about the fuel shortage and the power shortage in Lebanon. It seems absurd in this modern age that we are living by candlelight. There's a sense of suffering which I haven't experienced before in other countries. This painting is, is about the forest fires um, that have been raging all over Lebanon. Yeah, I mean, ma fi la 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 tabia. Well, this painting is, is in a way about two or three problems in Lebanon now. I mean, obviously, the rubbish crisis, the garbage everywhere, the um, isbele, when makan, um, and the lack of respect for public space and for rubbish clearance. All right, starting right now, because there is no future, technically. Um, we definitely need to start bringing trains back. My few public transport. Lazen, lazen train. Minimum. <laughs>